Usually in the past like week or so, I've been like waking up with so much energy. So today I just like struggled to get out of bed, but that's you know normal, natural, and it happens. So we just gotta power through it. I got my coffee, and yeah, today I wanted to take you guys along with me on my day. I wanted to talk about spirituality today. So I started my, um, I want to say I had my spiritual awakening during Christmas last year, so 2021. And honestly, it has taken me a while to get to where I'm at right now, um, but I feel very comfortable with my spirituality. And I feel very comfortable with what I believe in, and um, and I know spirituality is such a big, like, plethora of things. So um, yeah, I just wanted to share with you guys what I believe in, what kind of practices I do, um, and all that woo woo stuff. <laughs> and I'm very excited, but also put it in like a context of. What I do in my day, so how I incorporate my spirituality into my everyday life. I talk to the universe on a daily basis. Hey guys, <laughs> it, it's kind of weird talking about it because it's such a personal thing to me. And I also want to say that whatever I do, if you don't resonate with that, that's totally fine. You gotta find your own way um, through spirituality and you gotta find out what resonates with you because otherwise it's just gonna be force and um, yeah, and it's literally just trail, trail and error, trial and error um, to figure out what you resonate with and what you wanna practice. So, 
I got me coffee. I am going to sit here and read a little bit. And then after that, I'm going to meditate because I do that every day for depending <sighs> depending on the day um, and how much time I have. But I usually meditate for like 20 or 15 to 20 minutes. And I'm trying to not use any background music and not do guided meditations because I've done it so much now. Um, in the beginning it was really nice having someone to guide you through everything but now I know the techniques I it's literally engraved in me so I can just like do it myself without anything playing and then it's easier to get downloads if it's completely silenced and you're just dropping into your body so I've been trying to get more in tune with my intuition and my spirit guides to get um, I literally just said it to get messages no I'm tired Anyways, since I am working on my own business and I gotta make sure that I know how to make money, I am reading a lot and I am doing a lot of courses and um, stuff like that. Ooh, actually, maybe that's what I want to do this morning. So in the beginning, um, or right when I wake up, you're more, right when people wake up, you're more perceptive to things that come in. So. Um, I did go on my phone today, but made sure like I didn't scroll through any gossip pages or not that I really watch that anyways. Actually, that's a lie. I have been getting drawn into that on Snapchat, even though I never used to use that. But I need to not be on those toxic gossip pages because it's mm, not good, not good. And I feel myself getting like caught in it and like drawn to it, which is really bad because I don't want that negative stuff in my life. So, I am going to read this book for a little bit, and then I will talk to you guys when I start meditating. It is meditation time, and then journal afterwards. I... Got a few journal prompts from Catherine Sinkina, Manifestation Babe. Um, if you guys know who she is, if you don't, go check her out. She is, oh my god, literally the reason why I'm here today. Why I'm doing what I'm doing. Oh, I'm getting emotional. <laughs> I will tell that story after I'm done with this when I'm gonna, um, I'll show you later. I, I, I have a plan, but I'll show you later. <sighs> my camera died, but I finished my journaling. Now I am very hungry. So I'm going to make a smoothie bowl. I've been loving making these. Um, especially since we have a Nutri-Bullet. I, mm, I have wanted one of these for so long. And we have it here at home. Okay, let's make my smoothie. Woohoo! So we got the smoothie bowl. We got um, almond butter, chia seeds, granola. Cacao nibs, um, sliced almonds, and some coconut, sh shredded coconut. I am just gonna sit here and listen to the chorus and eat my breakfast. And then I will tell you guys a little bit more about what this chorus entails and how it's changed my life, basically. 
And this is also a big part of how I have figured out what kind of spirituality um, I want to practice. What kind of work I had to do in order to figure out, yeah, know thyself. That's literally what I'm on right now, um, the slide I'm on. And yeah, this has really helped me to learn who Emma is. And I'm very excited to talk about it after I'm done eating, but my stomach is hurting. Beautiful. Yeah, so I wanted to talk about the chorus that I've been doing. A little bit more about it, because I know that she is opening it up again. Um, not that long. So that's very exciting. Especially for um, anyone that is interested in starting their journey. Especially spiritu like spiritual journey mm, with manifestation and learning how to actually manifest and what's behind it, the science behind it. And because I feel like manifestation nowadays has been very, it's, it's kind of like dumbed down almost. And everyone is like, oh my God, I'm manifesting this, blah, 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 blah. But there is so much that goes into actually being able to manifest what's right for you and it's the work it's literally doing the work and getting rid of any limiting beliefs that's holding you back from actually getting what you want and what's for you and a lot of people also have this like vision of what they want i made a podcast episode about this actually yeah this week and it came out this week oh link it in the um Sub notes? No, that's for podcast. Link it in the description below. Um, but yeah, and I figured out that like, I was supposed to go to fashion school. I was supposed to build my own brand. I was supposed to work in the fashion industry. And now that's not very lucrative to me anymore. And who knows? Well, the thing is, I think I might want a brand like in the future, but as of now, I need to do this first. And this is what I'm being called to do. And I figured that out through this course. Without this course, I would not never have known. So yeah, the course, <laughs> let me talk, talk to you about it. The course is called Manifestation Babe Academy. TMBA or the Manifestation Babe Academy and it's created by the most beautiful amazing human Catherine Sinkina and I will also link her information and everything down below I found her when I was at my darkest when I was stuck in bed that's also another story that I'm not gonna put in here because um, it has a trigger warning and I just don't want to get into that right now but I can link that episode where I talk about my past and what happened and stuff like that um, also in the description below. But yeah, so I found her through her podcast and from the moment I found her and she talked about the MBA, um, that's what it's, it's short for. I was like, I am so taking this course. Like this, this is something I need in my life. And last, yeah, New Year's, last year, I was doing, she has um, another course, Epically Aligned. So I did that last um, December before New Year's to like start off the new year. And I was like, okay, this is so good. This is so valuable. I'm getting so much information. So when she said that she was um, releasing her um, Manifestation Babe Academy again, I was like, okay, no matter what, I will do this. And I used the money that I got back from my insurance to do the, uh, for my insurance from school to pay off the first month. Cause the thing is, it's $3,000 if you pay in full and then 
There's also a payment plan. So I'm on the payment plan right now. I still have five months left um, of paying and that's $300 a month. So it's a little bit more if you do the payment plan, but for me, that was what I was able to do. So I spent $300 of my monthly allowance um, because I'm international and like you're not allowed to work there so I got help from my parents and student loans and stuff and yeah I've been paying that off for seven months now oh my god seven I'm gonna talk about angel numbers too because angel numbers crazy I cannot stress this enough how oh insane it's been for me this whole process has been so helpful i have really like started to understand who i am as a person because of this and i will be forever grateful for this course and everything she had taught me because i don't know where i would have been without this honestly like it's crazy to think of. I'm getting emotional again. <laughs> That's also a thing. Crying is beautiful. Um, if you don't cry enough, you're not releasing the emotions that are stuck within you. So I am redoing the whole program because so much has changed for me and I feel like I'm where I'm at right now. I feel like I'm kind of held back a little bit and I know that like I can go even further and everything that I did during the course and it ended in May so it's been like a while since I actually did it um, but everything is kind of like implemented now and now I'm ready for the next step and the next upgrade so I think I want to do it twice a year and I also have it for the rest of my life and I get all the updates too on the things she puts in and it's also crazy because she has like all these money abundant mindset courses and bonus modules and intention settings and all these like tools that you can use she has meditations guided meditations breath work oh breath work is insane um eft like tapping do like this which is so good um to rewire your nervous system and so much more so i just finished the first module so I am currently now just working on my workbook and then um, I'm gonna finish this I'm gonna clean the apartment and then I'm gonna head out to the city to buy a candle because I'm doing an intention intention no intention. yeah intention it's called an intention ritual right Blah. I cannot talk. Intention setting ritual. Yes, practice. That's what she's called. And I'm gonna go to the spiritual store, uh, Shangri La. I haven't been in there in so long. I might pick up some crystals or some other woo woo stuff. Um, but I'm gonna take you guys with me on that. Okay. I am done cleaning. Oh, and I also. I ate some leftovers for lunch that I didn't show, but um, yeah, I just had some stir fry with noodles and shrimp. It is currently 4.14 and I am heading out in literally two seconds. Um, I just need to get my bag and my purse and yeah, then I'm headed out to Shangri-La, which is um, the spiritual store in Oslo. Well, I don't know if it is spiritual. It's like a mix between a smoke shop and a spiritual store. So we'll see what we can find. Um, I don't really have any concrete plans for when I get there, but oh yeah, my outfit, by the way. <laughs> And my, <laughs> ow, and my favorite corduroy pants. And then we got my little 
jacket on top because it is a little chilly out um, since it is fall here in Norway or starting to become fall. It is September, so nice. I will take you guys with me on the trip. spirituality now nice um, yeah so I got picked up three packs of incense cuz I'm running low on the ones I like and <laughs> they're all pink I used to hate pink but um, I've been more attracted to it I think it's just how I'm feeling at the moment very much like love and then I got a chakra candle chakra candle and color indigo for the third eye so I'm trying to opening up you know my third eye so I thought I would use this for my intention setting um, yeah that's what I found so far I am very very glad that I went in here very I never that earlier. I'm currently at weekday. Um, this is actually... I'm in here because um, I'm manifesting doing a campaign with them or a photo shoot. So I thought I'd try some of their clothes on to see what they actually have. So it's not just like just thinking about it, you know, but like actually being in their clothes. And these are so cute. I got the first bus on. I feel like a sea creature. <laughs> and I don't know what this is. Like I get the back, but why not bring it all the way up? I'm scarred from past school. <laughs> Literally. But I do like to slip that. That is cute. You can see my underwear. Yeah. No. It's not a yes for me. Um, <laughs> oh my god. The second thing was very see through. And YouTube um, does not like nipples. <laughs> so, yeah. I kind of like it, but also I wish that the fabric was different. I wish that it was like a heavier. It's just very light and very plasticky. Um, but it's very cute. I like it a lot. Um, I like the pattern, but no tay. Can you tell from my face? Oh, that's the song. It's been so long since I've heard the song. Look at this. This is so cute. Okay. We got one item. This has been a very, very successful trip to the city or to the city center. I live in the city, but yeah. She's cute. Weekday. <laughs> That's the world colors. Very cute. Oh, 
I am still working on vlogging in front of people because I still think it's a, it is a little awkward. But yeah, I am finished with whatever I was gonna do in the city and I am on my way home. Yeah, this is also pushing me out of my comfort zone, which is a good thing, you know? So. I have found out that I think it's more uncomfortable speaking out loud here than it is in New York, which makes sense. I haven't felt comfortable here my whole life, so now that I'm like having to speak English and vlogging, like using a camera, it is really uncomfortable, but like I said, Pushing myself and getting out of that comfort zone is only making me grow. And I want to be able to speak on stage at one point. I'm also thinking about taking public speaking classes because I, I want to learn, especially in Norwegian. <laughs> it's my stomach or whatever is going on with my stomach that is making me so out of breath. But yeah, so that was my little update and I am finding it more and more comfortable even though I am leaving as someone is coming. And I also think being around people my age and being worried that I'm going to run into someone from high school, um, not high school, middle school because High school I don't care about, but middle school. <laughs> Ooh, especially since I'm here where people grew up. But most people are not here anymore. They moved somewhere else, so. I don't know why I'm so worried, but that is a limiting belief. It is, it's stuck deep down in a shadow that I'm working on. And just doing this is such a great way for me to get out of that um, safe zone and yeah grow so I'm almost home by the way wow. okay so I wanted to finish this episode episode no this podcast I'm up this video this Hey! Hey! Hi, hi! Come in! Come in! Do it, can you see? My stepdad came home, um, so I just wanted to finish this video in my room. Before I say goodbye, I wanted to just do a little roundup of what I kind of believe in and what I use and find interesting when it comes to spirituality. So I'm very into astrology, um, getting more and more into that, and moon manifestation, like actually working with the moon. Um, so there's a full moon on Saturday. September 10th and yeah this video actually comes out on Friday so this will be out before the full moon and it's so interesting actually like learning how it works yeah and also my period is synced with the moon cycles which is so sick <laughs> I because I'm really trying to take care of my um my feminine hygiene like my womb, I've had some trauma um, happening to my womb. Not, well, not my womb, but um, my vagina. For me, being able to like actually track it and um, know how or know when I have a lot of energy. And it's funny because now I can actually track it with the moon. Yeah, so it's, it's not like my energy is all over the place throughout the month. 
it's very consistent. So it's like the first part of the the moon cycle. So from the new moon to the full moon, that's when I have like the most energy and that's what's happening right now. And then from the full moon to the new moon again, that's when I kind of go more inwards and I'm not as like out there um, with the things that I do. So yeah. So that's one thing or two things, astrology and the moon cycles. And I'm also very, very into human design. Um, it's something I never heard of before I started TMBA, the manifestation course that I'm doing. I would love to do an episode. <laughs> Why do I say episode? I would love to do a video about human design and talk a little bit more about my human design and how that has really helped me to figure out what I want to do with my life. Because with human design, it's kind of like a blueprint of how you manifest and how you attract things more easily into your life. Yeah, what else? Numerology. Wow. Angel numbers, numerology in general, my life, pa life path number is seven. My personal year number this year is two. And I see 72 and 27 everywhere. Oh my god. And, um, yeah, numerology. I saw 8888 today, which means money is coming in. And we're manifesting more money. So, um, yeah. Those are a few things that I'm into. And there are so many more things. And... As long as you do, you, basically, as long as you feel into it, as long as you really make sure that what you are doing and the practices you're doing, the rituals you're doing, and as long as it feels good, that's literally what the only thing that I have to say. As long as it feels good to you, you gotta make sure that it's fueling you, not draining you. Because I know like a lot of practices you might do just because you feel like you have to do it, but it has to fuel you. It has to make you really, really happy because that's the point of all this. You know, you're supposed to live a beautiful life. Um, we all are able to live a beautiful life. Through spirituality, I've found what works for me. And I do hope that you find whatever works for you too. And if you have any questions, please, please let me know. Um, I would love to share more things if there's anything that I've talked to or talked about today that you're more interested in Let me know in the comments below and I would love to make more videos about this spirituality because um, I don't have anyone to talk to about this here in Norway like it's not I don't know a lot of spiritual people also if you live in Oslo and are spiritual please <laughs> hit me up I would love to gather a group of people that I can talk to about it because I back home or back home actually back in New York I most of my friends are spiritual so it was more easy or it was easier for me to actually have that conversation with people I just saw 7-eleven that's also one of my angel numbers um, <laughs> I will be uploading every Friday I'm so so ex I don't know what this was I'm so excited to be back filming for you guys and like subscribe and hit the notification bell um, to make sure you don't miss any of my future videos